Hi and welcome to this Namecheap tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to cover a few things about Namecheap and some of the things we are going to look at are how you can buy a domain, the available hosting solutions, how you can buy the hosting, how you can change your name servers, your DNS records, how you can manage your hosting and how you can transfer a domain and any other thing will come across during this tutorial. So let's just get started right away. First off, let's see how you can buy a domain. So if you want to buy a domain, you can just go to namecheap.com and you can create an account or you'll create an account during the purchase process. And I'm just going to do a sample. I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm going to do a sample here. Let me do a sample of 123sample.com. Even with this, you can still just do without the extension, extensions like .com, .net and so on. So I can just search and you can see they're available domains that are available with this name. So the domains that are available with this name are this. So .com, you can see you can buy .com for that. And all these other. So maybe I want the .com. I can just click there and buy .com. So of course, they are trying to market all these other things as well. And if you want to buy any of this, you can select and buy them. So if you want to add hosting as well, you can also do that but we don't want to do that. But if you wanted to buy it, you could just click there to add to cart. So if you're buying the domain, you can just click here to check out. And you can see the final cost of your domain right there. And when you're done, you can just click confirm order. Or if you do have a coupon, you can put in the coupon there. So let's say I just click on confirm order. Now the next process of course is either creating your account or you can log into your account. So you can just create a new account by entering all these details. And then once you do that, you're going to get the payment option. So you can pay via PayPal or you can pay using your credit, your credit card or debit card or any other way that you want to pay. All right. So that's how you can buy a domain. And once you buy a domain to manage it, you'll just go into your account, log in. And every time you, you come into Namecheap, you can log in by coming here and going into putting in your username and password. Okay, so let's talk about hosting. Now, hosting, the different hosting solutions that Namecheap provides. Here under hosting, you can see we have shared, you have WordPress, reseller, and all these others. Let's say you want to buy shared hosting. You can just click on shared hosting to view the different plans that are available. And you can see these are the plans that they currently have on Namecheap. So if you want an affordable hosting solution, you see, you can just get started with Namecheap and try them out. You can host three websites for a very reasonable, for a very affordable price. So just feel free to try them and you can use the link in the description below if you want to get hosting or you want to buy domains from Namecheap. So let's say that I want to buy this one. Okay. You can, you can also look at the different data center locations to see the different prices that come with that. So if you want your server to be based in the US, you make sure you click on that and you can view. These are two year plans. You see if the year, if you choose a yearly plan, the pricing is different. And if you want to pay per month, the pricing is different as well. So let's say you want to choose maybe yearly, just choose the yearly plan so that if you don't like to use them after one year, you can move on to somewhere else. So we can click there. Let's say get started. And you can connect a new domain or use an existing domain. So let's say I want to use an existing domain. For you to use an existing domain, you're going to need to sign in. So let me say a new domain and we can just choose the one which is already in the cart or you can make a new domain purchase. If that's all you want to, that's all you want to add to your cart, you can click add to cart. And then if this is all you need, you can click on confirm order and you're going to need to sign in. And then the next process is payment. So payment is just like you normally do on any other website. You can use your credit card, debit card, PayPal, and so on. So that's all available once you sign in. If you want to host or migrate WordPress, the solutions here, you can use the managed WordPress hosting and you can also migrate your WordPress to Namecheap for free. So let's look at this managed hosting for WordPress. 
and this is powered by easy wp so this is also just like hosting that you can do for your wordpress and you can choose any of these options if you want a wordpress optimized solution you can choose that the managed wordpress hosting solution and you can also run your vps hosting but for vps i do recommend valtra and i do have a valtra tutorial that you can see how you can create and set up your server on valtra all right so let's say you've bought all you all you wanted to buy let's go and manage our purchased products so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how you can change your name servers on namecheap so just before you go there hosting the difference shared hosting you can use you can use this to host any kind of website so that's one reason why you probably should choose shared hosting if you don't know the kind of website you want to build if you don't know the website you want to build you can choose shared hosting if you want to run wordpress and you're sure you want to run wordpress only you can just choose the wordpress hosting solution so let's see how you can change your name servers for your domain come in here and log in just click there and add your login details you'll see a list of all your products you'll see a list of your recently active products so this is a, a domain that i bought for tutorials purposes and you can see this domain has a domain as a product it has hosting as a product and this is shared hosting if i hover you can see the hosting that we have and i can also just go directly and manage the hosting i can go directly and log in to the cpanel it also has ssl so for every domain the products that you bought for that domain will be listed on it and and if you want to change the dns records for that domain you can just click here if you want to change the name server records for that domain you can just click here under manage and you're going to see the options for that but first let's click here on domain list and this is also going to list a list of all your domains so so for every domain if you have any type of product with it even if it's email or whatever any type of product that you bought from namecheap like hosting email hosting and so on all that you can just click on manage for that domain and all those products will be listed under products so if you come here under product any any product that you have in relation to that domain will be listed under product and you can go ahead and manage it like if you want to manage hosting you can go there and manage hosting if you want to go directly to the c panel just click there to go to the c panel so let's see how you can change your name server record so let's say you go to your domains list and you see the list of all your domains then you come into this one you can click there to manage the domain and just here under domain you can change your name servers so the name servers are the ones that will direct that will direct the internet to where your domain is hosted you can see currently this one is using this one is using cloudflare and cloudflare will will redirect any visitor to the correct server where my email is you can use custom domain custom dns and since this is hosted since i bought some hosting for namecheap I can just come in here and change the DNS records to Namecheap Web Hosting. So let's say I change it back to Namecheap Web Hosting. I can just click there to save. Click on the blue tick to change. And if you want to change it back to anything else, you can still use your custom DNS. Just add the records and then you save. For us, let's use Namecheap Web Hosting. So I don't know where the domain is currently pointing to but let's just see all right so it hasn't propagated well this usually takes some time but once it has propagated it's going to, to show me the mailchimp hosting welcome page so we've seen how to buy a domain how to buy hosting how to change your name servers and now let's see how you can manage how you can manage the hosting that you purchase so as i said just go to the product and you can come here under product list just go to the domain and then you can come here under product list and for this we want to manage this so let me just click there on manage and see the options that we do have so here you'll see all the details if you scroll down you're going to see all the details that relate to this hosting plan so if you want to do any management for this you can just come in here 
and you see all the options you have you can change the main domain for this hosting you can change the current plan maybe you want to upgrade you can change the cpanel username if you want to change the username for logging into for logging into your cpanel you can also add managers for this maybe you want someone else to manage this for you and they do have a name chip account you can just click here and you'll, you'll add their email address and they will be able to manage the hosting for you you can also cancel the service and if you want to go to the cpanel for this for this shared hosting just click there to go to cpanel and this will automatically log you in as long as you're logged into Namecheap, that will automatically log you in. You can go to the file manager just to see what options we have. Here under file manager, if you want to upload files to your website, you can just click here under public HTML and you can upload files inside there. So my domain is not propagated yet, but I would have shown you an example. You can just add in any content that you want on your site right there. You can also edit. You can also edit any of the files which are inside there. So you can make any change and then click on save change. And then you can close out that. So that's the file manager. What else do we have here? So if you do want a tutorial for cPanel, just let me know and I can do a quick tutorial for how you can manage your website on cPanel. If my domain was already propagated, and the DNS records who are now reflecting on Namecheap, I can just come in here and change the DNS records on my Namecheap. Okay. So once you come in there, you can just click on manage and you can add all the DNS records here. If you want to add any record, you'll just click on add record and you can add a type of record. So maybe you want to add MX record you can click there, MX, CNAME record, add all the records in there. This you can do on the cPanel. And anything else that you want to do here, just feel free to play around with them. You can also create email accounts. You can create an email, username, give it a password, you can generate a password and then you can limit you can limit the the storage space for this and then create and if you want to log in you can just click there to check email for that specific email and just click there on open so this will happen for the first time and you can see I do have one email there you can just double click on it to read whatever to read the email let's just come here and I will delete that email confirm delete so let's end the video by seeing how you can transfer a domain First of all, let's see how you can transfer a domain out of Namecheap, what you need to do. If you want to transfer out a domain, just come back here on the domain list. And let's say this is the domain that I want to transfer. I can just click on it. And you can click there to transfer out. And if you have it locked, you can lock the domain. If you unlock it, the domain will be transferable however if it is locked you cannot transfer the domain so it's just about changing the settings and then you'll go wherever you bought your domain wherever you want to transfer to and then on their end you'll click transfer a domain you'll put in the name of this domain and you will get an email with all the details that you need to enable that transfer on the other end so how do you lock a domain if you want to lock a domain so that no one can transfer it you'll just come here don't even click on it just click here on manage this page you'll just click on sharing and transfer and then on the sharing and transfer page just scroll all the way down and you can lock a domain 
if it is unlocked you'll see an option to lock it just click on that on on certain domains you'll need a transfer code for the domain so you can just click here and copy copy the authorization that will allow this domain to get transferred and then input it wherever your domain is being transferred to so if you want to transfer into namecheap the process is just the same just come here under domains come here under domains and then you can click on domain transfer let's say i want to transfer a domain inside here let's just say i want to transfer google.com just as a sample and then i'll click on transfer and you can see domain is locked on the other end so i would need to get the i would need to unlock the domain on the other end like i've shown you to do it on namecheap the process would probably be different but you just need to unlock it on the other end to enable a transfer and then you will input the authorization code i don't know it's called e something code you can just get that from your domain registrar on the other end then you can put that in here if it is enabled on the other side if it is not enabled then you can just ignore this and then click add to cut check that add the authorization code and then click add to cut and you can just pay for the do for the domain it will probably be free for the first year so that's pretty much it for this namecheap tutorial what i've done is i've shown you just an overview of some of the things you can do on namecheap you can look at the hosting solutions they also have email hosting solutions if you just want to host email you can click there and view the email hosting plans that they have you can see very affordable solutions here for you if you're running a different website and you want to use your you want to buy email hosting you can do that here you can see very affordable solutions and you've also seen how you can register a domain, how you can buy hosting, how you can manage the hosting. You just come into your dashboard and you can manage your domain and hosting. So if you do want a cPanel tutorial, feel free to let me know and I can create a quick tutorial for you. If you need to buy anything from Namecheap, feel free to use my affiliate link in the description below. I will appreciate your support. The Namecheap Website Builder. So the Website Builder is a drag and drop tool that you can use for free to build your website. So if you come here under hosting, shared hosting, any of these shared hosting plans has a Website Builder available for you to use. So when you go to your dashboard, just click on go to cPanel. And then on the cPanel, here on the first item here you can see we have website builder so i can just click on the website builder when i do that the first thing that's going to come up is for me to choose a template so you can choose any template based on the kind of website that you want to build so maybe i want to build i want to build an e-commerce website you can also look at the guide the guide is a way for you to build the template with some guidance from namecheap so there will be some on-screen help for you if you want to look at that look at that but i just prefer to go directly and build without the guide you can also preview you can also preview the template that you've chosen but i'm just going to click on select and it has loaded the template for us so you can just you can go ahead and edit this based on the website that you want to build so if you want to change the background image there just click change and we can use the items from the free gallery let's use an image that is clearly visible here and once you do that maybe you might you might want to change the color for that and just click on that and edit text and when you click to edit the text you can change the color and let me, let me change it to something that's close to white and apply so i think i have to select the text and apply and that's going to change the color any element that you want to add on this page you can actually just drag in an element maybe you want to add a gallery just drag in the gallery option you can drag it up
if you want to add a text, just scroll down. You can drop in a text. Choose a type of text. So everything is drag and drop. You can just drag in elements. And use the lines to align them. You can see that line aligns it at the middle. And if you want to create a new page, just come here under Home, Edit, New Item. You want to create a page, you can create a link or a pop up. We want to create a page, let's just call it Services. Apply. Apply. And if I want to go and edit that page, I'll just click on services. Save the draft. So when creating, let's see what happened. Edit, new item, and you see, I didn't choose, but you can choose a layout to copy from. Automatically, it shows home. That's why, that's why the design is similar to the home page. But you can do that, you can change the template you want to copy from. Any element that you want to add, you can just drag in elements in here, gallery, picture, any element you want to add, you can definitely drag them in. So there are also blocks here. Look at the different types of blocks that maybe you want to add on your page. Perhaps you want to add something like that. You can just click or drag it wherever you want to put it. If you don't need it, just click on it and then click delete on your keyboard. So that's pretty much an overview of this and you can just play around with it to design your website you can also change the theme so let's say we want to change the template so to change the template just click there and then you can select a different template and you can choose a different template confirm yes change template So when you change the template, you're going to have to start again. So you may want to rethink about the template you want to use before you even get started. But just go ahead and try them to see which one you prefer and which one works well for your business and, this, and the type of website that you want to build. So that's it. Once you're done building the site, you can just come in here and publish or you can save the draft. So let's say I click on publish. Once it's done uploading all the files, you will see that all the files have been added in your in your file manager. So if you just click on file manager and then you click on public HTML, you can see all the site files are here and this is a nice way of managing them. They are put inside of this one folder. So this is the one that's going to go inside here. It's also redirecting into this folder so that when somebody goes to your domain, it's going to bring them into this folder and your website will be there. So let's look at bizanosa.club. So there is the site and you can go back and edit it. You can continue editing it even further. You can also edit the code if you know how to. If you come in here, you can edit all the elements that you want to edit in this template but I don't need this on my site. So I'm just going to delete this. Delete permanently. And I'm also going to delete that permanently. And if I come back, I should just get the welcome page from Namecheap. If I, if I come back and reload, I should just get the welcome page from Namecheap. So let me just change the name of this. I'll just rename this to index.html.
reload and that should give us our name chip welcome page so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions feel very free to let me know